Welcome back. So now we're ready to start talking about some of the types of machine learning uh, and kind of categorize the different methods, the different architectures we have to build models from data. And there are a lot of ways of slicing this. There's so many different algorithms. Uh, I mean, there's so many just, you know, so many flavors of neural networks alone, let alone all of the other machine learning models. But what I'm going to do is give you one of the most kind of common breakdowns uh, of, of types of ML. So we're talking about types of ML. And the two big distinctions in, uh, in machine learning, or at least two of them, are whether or not your data or your algorithm is supervised or unsupervised. So supervised learning means that you have an expert who has labeled your data with outcomes. So you have labeled training data. And um, so, so in some sense, this supervision comes in the form of labels that tell you for this set of inputs, this is what the outcome or the prediction is. So I'll give you a very concrete example. Let's say I have a bunch of images of um, cats and dogs. Um, that smile dog. Uh, so maybe I've got a bunch of cats and a bunch of dogs. And I have an expert human go through and label all of those you know, cat, dog, cat, dot, 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 so on and so forth. Then a supervised learning algorithm, there is a whole family of machine learning algorithms, uh, supervised algorithms, that will allow me to build a classifier in, so that in the future, if I have a picture of, let's say I have a cat in this case, so if I have a, a picture of a cat in the future, the algorithm can learn how to label that cat as the supervisor would have, the same way the supervisor would have. Okay, so that's what we mean by supervised, uh, supervised learning. If your data comes in categories like cats and dogs and birds and people, then this is called classification. So it's classification. Um, if the data is kind of discrete data, categorical data, or it's regression if uh, if the data is continuous. So I gave you an example of classification. Uh, an example of regression would be, let's say I give you a bunch of um, airfoil designs. Okay, so I've got a bunch of, of airfoil designs, maybe you know my NACA 0012 and an Epler and so on and so forth. And I measure what the drag is. And let's say the drag is a number, it's a continuous number like uh, 0.3 or 0.4 and so on and so forth. What you would want to do with a regression model is in the future, if I have a new airfoil, I'd want to be able to tell you, oh, that's going to be a 0.32 drag coefficient on that airfoil. Okay, so this is uh, classification for discrete data, like categories, dogs and cats, or, or discrete labels. Regression for continuously varying labels, like the drag coefficient on an airfoil. Okay. So that's one big category of machine learning are supervised algorithms, and there are you know, classification and regression techniques. And another uh, large category is what we call unsupervised. Uh, and as you might have guessed, there are no labels. So there's no expert telling you what's, uh, what's different, what's a cat, what's a dog, what the drag coefficient is. You just get a bunch of data and you have to make heads or tails of it or cats and dogs of it, okay? And so unsupervised um, machine learning is, is very interesting. This is kind of what we mean when we say data mining. So you've heard, um, you know, data mining, we're gonna take all of our mountains of data and we're gonna mine it for patterns and pull out interesting rules that we might be beyond a human to write down. So that's what we mean here. Uh, this is what people talk about with data mining. Um, in some sense, if I gave it all of these pictures of dogs and cats, uh, if I gave an unsupervised algorithm all of these pictures of dogs and cats, but I told the algorithm there's two kind of things you might want to be distinguishing, it might learn clusters in the data. It might learn uh, distinguishing features that tell dogs and cats apart, and it might learn that there are these two categories that are kind of different, okay? And so that is, is called clustering. Again, uh, if you believe that your data is discrete in some sense, you will cluster that data, and then you could use those clusters for a future classification. 
Uh, and then if it's continuous data, like, like this case, you might use something called um, dimensionality reduction. That's what I call it. Um, dimension reduction, uh, pattern extraction is another one, pattern or feature extraction, pattern extraction. Um, and I should say that each of these kind of four groups here, so classification, regression, clustering, and pattern extraction, or feature extraction, each of these four areas is a huge, huge area of machine learning. There are textbooks on classification and regression and clustering and so on and so forth. Thousands and thousands of papers and researchers in each of these areas. And, and that's something you have to think about based on your data is do you have labels? Does an expert, has an expert actually told you this is the thing I, I want as an outcome and here's the number for all of my input data, okay? Um, a last area, and, and I'll talk about this in a little bit. I have kind of a slideshow uh, for, for the next segment. There's also a group called semi-supervised. Um, and these are algorithms where maybe there's some expert feedback. Maybe you get uh, in reinforcement learning. Maybe my, my robot, my agent, gets a reward, but it doesn't get a reward after every action it takes. Maybe after 10 actions, it gets one reward. So there's partial information it gets from the environment or from a supervisor, but it has a lot of unlabeled data as well, and it has to kind of bring these together. Uh, so reinforcement learning, uh, generative models really fit into the semi-supervised. And this is actually where a lot of interesting work is, is happening because you get some really uh, very useful um, models in the semi-supervised world. Okay, so more on this soon uh, with a flowchart. Thanks.